Hi, and welcome to your 18th lecture in Russian for Complete Beginners, in which we will focus on learning how to use verbs of motion in present and past tense, and how to talk about using different modes of transport. Now, as we have seen so far, there is only one present tense in Russian language, unlike in English, where we can say I go to work, which will be different from I am going to work. In order to distinguish between these two forms, we have two verbs in Russian that are used for going somewhere on foot and two verbs that are used for going somewhere by transport. Now let's begin by looking at two verbs of motion that work similarly to English ing forms and are used with words such as сейчас, right now, сегодня, today, and so on. These particular verbs are used to describe either a one-off action or motion in one direction and is similar to English forms I am going, be that on foot or by transport. The verb for going on foot is идти. Идти. The verb for going by transport is ехать. Ехать. Now let's go through these forms together. Please repeat after me. I am going. Я иду. You are going. Ты идешь. He, she is going. Он, она идет. We are going. Мы идем. You are going. Вы идете. They are going. Они идут. Let's have a look at the verb ехать. Please repeat after me. I am going. Я еду. You are going. Ты едешь. He, she is going. Он, она едет. We are going. Мы едем. You are going. Вы едете. And lastly, they are going. Они едут. Let's have a look at two other verbs which represent a routine motion of going or multidirectional journey and are translated as I go, you go, etc. As a result, they will be used with words such as каждый день, every day, обычно, usually, всегда, always, and so on. Let's have a look at the verb ходить first, which is a routine verb for going on foot. I go, я хожу. You go, ты ходишь. He, she goes, он, она ходит. We go, мы ходим. You go, вы ходите. They go, они ходят. Let's have a look at the verb ездить, which is a routine verb that represents going somewhere by transport. Please repeat after me. I go, я езжу. You go, ты ездишь. He, she goes, он, она ездит. We go, мы ездим. You go, вы ездите. They go, они ездят. Excellent, well done. It's important to remember that we use verbs of motion идти, ехать, ходить, and ездить with accusative case because it also describes direction as well as direct object. So prepositional case, which describes location, can be used with what we call static verbs, such as to work or to live, whereas accusative case will be used with verbs of motion. As a result, prepositional case will be used with words such as where, где, and there, там, as in где ты работаешь? Where do you work? Я работаю в офисе. I work in office. Or, я работаю там. I work there. Accusative case will be used with words such as куда, where to, and туда, there to. As in, куда ты идешь? 
Where are you going to? Я иду в офис. I'm going to an office. We could also use the verb ходить, which stands for routine or multidirectional action of walking on foot. And the question would then be, куда ты ходишь? But it would mean, where do you go to, as in every day. Now, let's see how we can use this new material in a conversation. I'm going to read the whole dialogue to Leon first, and then translate it. Как дела? Хорошо. Куда ты сейчас идешь? Я иду в магазин. А ты? А я иду на работу. Где ты была вчера? По вторникам я обычно хожу в спортивный зал. И вчера я тоже ходила туда. Понятно. Мне тоже пора начинать ходить в спортивный зал. Это полезно. How are you? Good. Where are you going to now? I'm going to a shop. And you? I'm going to work. Where were you yesterday? On Tuesdays, I usually go to a gym. And yesterday, I also went there. I see. It's time for me to also start going to a gym. It's healthy. Now, please note the use of the verb идёшь in the question Куда ты сейчас идёшь? The indicator here is сейчас, right now, which influence the choice of the verb идёшь, going. Also, note the use of the verb хожу, as in я обычно хожу, which stands for I usually go, and the indicator обычно, which influence the choice of the verb ходить, to go as part of your routine. Now let's see what happens when we want to use these verbs of motion in the past tense. The good news is that three out of four verbs follow the normal pattern for the formation of the past tense. The verb идти has a completely irregular past tense form. In masculine, идти becomes шел, шел. In feminine, идти becomes шла, шла. And in plural, идти becomes шли, шли. Let's go through these forms together. Please repeat after me. Ехать. Он ехал. Она ехала. Они ехали. Ходить. Он ходил. Она ходила. Они ходили. Ездить. Он ездил. Она ездила. Они ездили. Now let's see how we can use these verbs of motion with different types of transport in Russian. As usual, I'm going to read each word out twice and I would encourage you to repeat after me. Машина. Машина. Поезд. Поезд. Автобус. Автобус. Троллейбус. Троллейбус. Метро. Метро. Трамвай. Трамвай. Такси. Такси. Велосипед. Велосипед. Мотоцикл. Мотоцикл. Excellent. Well done. Please note that we use prepositional case with preposition на to say by car, by train, etc. Also note that the ending of the word метро, subway, and такси, taxi, isn't going to change because these words are borrowed. Now let's see how we can use this new material in a conversation. As usual, I'm going to read the whole dialogue till the end first and then translate it. Please feel free to pause and rewind at any time in order to practice your pronunciation and to work on your understanding of the text. Привет! Где ты была? Я давно тебя не видела. Я ездила в Испанию. Мне очень нравится Мадрид. 
и я каждое лето езжу туда. А ты где была в отпуске? Я ездила на дачу. У меня новая машина, и я ездила в деревню на машине. Какая погода была в Испании? Там было очень тепло и солнечно. Мы много гуляли и ходили по магазинам. А тут было не очень тепло и часто шел дождь. Hi, where were you? I haven't seen you for a long time. I went to Spain. I really like Madrid, and every summer I go there. And where were you on your holiday? I went to Dacha or Summer House. I have a new car, and I went to the countryside by car. What kind of weather was it in Spain? It was very warm and sunny there. We walked a lot and went shopping. And here it wasn't very warm, and it often rained. Now please note the use of nouns in the accusative case after verbs of motion, such as v Испанию and на дачу. Remember that дача can either be translated as дача or summer house. Also note a new phrase ходить по магазинам, which stands for to go shopping or literally to go round the shops, and the use of the past tense of the verb идти together with дождь. Please note that to say it's raining or it's snowing, we use the verb идти and never ходить. So it was raining or it rained, both will be шел дождь, it was snowing or it snowed will be шел снег. Excellent, well done. You have worked really hard in this lecture and you have done really well. In this lecture, you have learned how to use verbs of motion in present and past tense and how to talk about different modes of transport. Overall, including the additional vocabulary in the supplementary material attached to this lecture, you have familiarized yourselves with 22 new Russian words. As usual, remember to download the Test Yourself file, which contains exercises designed to reinforce new information covered in this lecture. Thank you for today and speak to you soon.